Robert Kelly is here with us. <laughs> What's up? And Rich Voss is here with us. Big, big show on Tuesday. Uh, the, there. Hopefully for not the last time ever. Hopefully you two can save this marriage. Well, it, it's, it's so up and down, so crazy. Two nights ago, major, major fight. Major. Major fight. I mean, it, crying, fighting, you know, and I'm stressed out. I get she off made the you road. Cry? I get off the road. Uh, that was kind of funny. I get off the road, uh, and he'll get better. And, you know, <laughs> then I start doing my taxes, and I'm booking flights, and I'm doing book. I'm doing everything. You're doing everything. I'm doing everything. And she's doing everything in the house. And she's almost like a hostage because of the kid. She wants to be a writer. We can't move to New York or L.A. We don't have them. You can't just get up and move to New York. You can't sell your house. You'll lose a fortune. You can't move to New York unless you have a million dollars. So she's stuck out there. I'm on the road. I get back. I got to do flights, rental cars, taxes, uh, trying to sell our movie. And I'm, and then we just blew up. Total fight. Then we chill out, watch TV. And then the next night we have sex. So it's like... It, it it's one second you're here, and next second you're down there. Yeah, and, you know it's. I, I don't know. It's it's like oil and it's like oil and vinegar. But then again, oil, oil and water, oil and vinegar. Yeah, oil and together. vinegar is a nice that's a, salad dressing. That's a oh. great salad dressing. You <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Dumb, dumb. If you get together like, <laughs> seriously, if you get together <laughs> like oil and vinegar, we're, we're yeah, set. Yeah, we're we don't have anything I mean, else to worry about. That's what I meant. Guys, you guys get yeah. together like ice cream and chocolate sauce. See, you guys didn't let me finish. <laughs> like say, pizza and pepperoni. <laughs> you guys, I was, like rabbits and magic. <laughs> I was saying, <laughs> what I was saying, ass. the good times are like oil and vinegar. You didn't let me finish. Yeah. <laughs> and the bad times are like oil and water. <laughs> oh, right. See, that's the problem with comics. They don't let you finish. They don't and let they you finish. And they make you look crazy. They make you look crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I, I'd use another word. They make me look crazy. Make you look... No. For, well, you know, from an entertaining aspect, the problems you two work, have, that works. But, you know, can this thing hold on? Robert, you're going to be producing this thing. I'm putting the show together. Yeah. Uh, it's under Riotcast, uh, the network there. We're, we, we, it's one of my favorite shows on the network. Um, one of. So... One of, yeah. We yeah. got Weird Medicine isn't the other one. Yeah. Um, and I like the Davey Mac. But, um, yeah, we're going to put it together. It's going to be live, which is going to be interesting because their show is very... Uh, Real. It starts out funny and hey and kid, yeah. and all of a sudden there's a lot of screaming and but it's still funny they always find their way back to funny <laughs> somehow which because they're both true comedians no matter what the shit is so and then we have you who's going to be the uh, special guest uh, marriage counselor but now I'm this is the thing I worry about Robert yeah. I if, if they break up yeah. I'm going to feel responsible this yeah, it's absolutely, this yeah, now yeah. I feel like I'm catching the baby being thrown out of a burning building <laughs> no, you're and the, then I'm going to worry about that baby for the rest of my life. Don't mm -hmm. worry, it's going well. You're the fourth counselor. Yeah, but you know what else? Yeah, I mean, you're the first the real day? one. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I'm the first who, who cares about you guys. <laughs> but um, I heard Anthony say something the other day that, that if you guys ever broke up, he'd make a run. He'd make for a Bonnie? Uh, yeah. Anthony? Yeah. Oh, Let God. me tell you something. First of all, she would look at his history. Yeah. Okay? I hope so, because then financially we'll both be set. <laughs> I, my first wife, my first wife, I was at work in a room at Trump Casino with my first wife, and Donald Trump comes walking up to us. I, hey, Mr. Trump, I'm working your comedy club. He goes, oh, that, oh, your wife is beautiful, he said. And all I could think is, please, God, steal my wife from me. If Donald Trump stole my wife, do you know how set in life I would have been if he took my first wife? Yeah. God. The, plus the publicity I would have got. The publicity, yeah. yeah. And everything. Oh. And the, don't forget the gigs. You'd have, like, just, you could just work the... Trump Hotel yeah. after Trump Hotel. Oh, God. God, so if Anthony makes a play for my wife, you know, go right ahead. <laughs> you are ready. Yeah. You're almost at that point where you're like, let's try something new. Yeah, you'd have to get her a lollipop and oh. backpack and a coloring book sure. for him to be into her. But. Oh, yeah, but you know what? She's, <laughs> she's talented. She can improv. She'd have to teach her to say Goo Goo Gaga well, again. <laughs> listen, Bonnie, <laughs> bottom line is Bonnie is, is, I love Bonnie. She's my soulmate. Mm -hmm. She's my wife, though. And we fight. 
We don't get along. So we get along. But when we can find somebody that we can both attack at the same time, that's where we really come together. <laughs> yes. That's, I'm yeah. telling you, God, when we can when, together, when we can just... You know, we find the one victim that we're both going after. That's the after. one thing I envy about you is that I, my wife is nothing to do with show business. Doesn't own a headshot. Neither do you. Doesn't have, <laughs> she doesn't have a hope or dream. <laughs> and uh, and she, like, I'll attack somebody and she'll be like, you know, maybe you should, you know. Be she, nice. Or yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, be nice. So it's like, oh, fuck. If, I, I would love it if me and my wife could just trash yeah. somebody. You know, even when oh. we're watching TV, she's like, you're so negative. It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <out. laughs> right. This is the Oscars. That twat is flat chested. Oh. She, <laughs> she looks like a guy. We just laugh together. Like, we'll watch. Yeah, just anything, and we, ugh, and we just ugh together. But just sometimes we we don't agree. Like, and she goes, you know, she's crazy. She's from Canada. You know, she doesn't have that aggressive nature like me. Are you tired? No. Why? Because no. you're really slow drawing this whole conversation. Well, okay, I'll, I'll talk a little faster. If you <laughs> want right, me to. That would be All nice. Right, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. You. I'm sorry. Fucking. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, sorry, guest and producer. Uh, <laughs> but you did, you sound like you're actually with a shrink, where you're just exhausted yes. trying to save your relationship. Well, I don't know what to it, do. Well, I mean, you know, it's look, we're almost married nine. We've been together ten years. That's yeah, wow. that's a that's that's a long time. Okay, you know, we're, and we're, you're both alpha people. You know, usually it's always better when you marry somebody who's how not. How do you know? Because I know her. We took the test. You. We took a test from Doctor Steve. I, rem I, I remember. You know, I heard it. And we're, but we got same whatever the test was. Yeah, you married we're yourself. Both, <laughs> we're both almost the same. <laughs> I, that's an insult to Bonnie. I'm sorry. Yeah, psychologically. Um, it's. Yeah. All right, let me take some of these calls. Some people think that they can help you. But we're all going to be getting together for a podcast <laughs> Jesus. at the uh, Village Underground. And thank you guys so much for asking me to this. And thanks for coming in today. I mean, yeah. you know, we just found out yesterday. But when I heard Robert Kelly's coming in, I'm like... No, my day is free. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know it's like the best possible thing that can happen to me when people come on the show that can talk. And no offense to us. But what I'm saying, when people just come in uh -huh. that want to be in a conversation. Uh, also, a lot of addicts are writing to me as we do this. Okay. They, they relate. Um, let's go first to uh, Robin in Portland. Robin in Portland, how are you? Well, let me try one more time. Go ahead, Robin. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good. I know it's none of my damn business. Oh, that was negative. What do you got? <laughs> um, hey, I can save this marriage, but it all depends on uh, the answer to one question for um, the guy and his wife. What is it? <clears throat> Does it still make you sick to think about your spouse with another person? Are you still in love with them? But does it make me sick to think about myself with another person? It makes me excited to see my wife with another person. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Why is that uh-oh? That's, what I mean, what that's I mean just is, a sexual are fantasy. Love? Are you still, does, it, does it make you shudder to think of your wife falling in love with another guy? Yeah, no, well, you know, here's the thing. Love is an overrated word. Uh, it, 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 it's a weird, like, you know you love your kids. You right. do. You love your kids. But, you know, love, look it. I would not be I would not be me without her. Okay? Right. And I don't know if that's so, love or if that's I think, codependency. I think Robin has love uh, confused with jealousy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. are you well, freaked out thinking about her with another person? Not yeah, if I'm in the, not if I'm in the room. I, yeah. I know. I I actually have fantasies about my wife <laughs> Taking a nice one in front of me oh, in a nice in a nice way though, not in a bad way. No, right. yeah, if you in can, a lovely way. If I don't you want can, a gun to her head. There. Do a if, if you can <laughs> if you could orchestrate it and pick the guy oh, and everything. Me? If you could orchestrate it, right. pick the guy. Okay. Is that okay. the right? Orchestrate it. Not org. I can help you. <laughs> Or just, I can help you, the man. weird thing is the same the same guys that you would pick is the same people that used to cop crack from back in the old days. No. <laughs> Be way uptown. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have to look like me. <laughs> really? <laughs> you and 
I, I fantasized about that. It's it's a normal fantasy, yeah. you know. Well, I mean, do you, you, do you, you don't have want a to jump in the guy, Robert, that you'd like to see your wife with? I don't have a reality guy, but yeah. I've had pictured the I guy. I got four yeah. of them. I have fake guys. They're always <laughs> no. a little older. Yeah. Like uh, they're almost like you know you, those guys in Vegas who are walking around by themselves. They got like a gray mustache, a okay. nice suit. You know what? It's this <laughs> sounds a, like a that Demi player. Moore movie. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Proposal. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And decent proposal. Mine is that guy. Mine is that kid right there. <laughs> Shelby? Shelby? Shelby. Why we're doing the show and the guys are in here. Pull your shirt up. We like we like to just look at your belly while the show's going on. My guy does not have a lot of money. My guy's like a sax player. Okay. But like you know, like a road musician. Doesn't make a lot, has an apartment, not really paid for. What's rent the controlled. proposal? The tips in his hat? No. No, he no, it's more of a David Sandberg. He works. He's not yeah. a street performer. Yeah. But he's but, doing a lot of session work. See, I, I Okay. <laughs> he wouldn't be the documentary yeah. about him, but yeah. he'd be talking about the who, guy who the documentary yeah, is about. Like yeah. that dude back there, he seems like he comes yeah. in, he lays yeah. down a track, yeah. he leaves, he's got his yeah. shit together, yeah. but he's not marquee yeah. name. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's not going to be, you know. Yeah, he's a sessions. <laughs> he's okay. a session guy. Yeah, he's a session. You know, and, but when you look at his resume, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. My guy, my guy starts off with his penis. Uh, that's where I start off. You know, not just about seven inches. Not too, you know, nice. And Is this for you or Bonnie? For her. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know where he's Here's going. the thing, though. In reality, <laughs> Corelli has a great... Pete Corelli, he's fucking... Yeah. He has a great bit about that, where you have these fantasies about your girl doing some shit in a dream, but then you wake up and you're like... You just, she's like, what's wrong with you? You fucking bitch. Uh -oh. You whore. Like, I've woken right. up mad yeah. at my wife because she was a slut in my dreams. Well, I... I, I, I'm not saying it's not about me, but I used to do a bit where role playing, you know, it's a problem mm -hmm. when you start getting jealous of the, of the roles of, of the character. Like the next night, he goes, "Well, where's Frank? Oh, are you seeing Frank on the side? You know, like yeah, yeah. You're, you're doing role." So, sex, sex, just a fine line like alcohol between fantasy and reality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you make it reality, can you handle the reality? Fantasy is great, you know. Uh, to talk about weird stuff like this. You know, my wife tells me stories about her college professor. I don't even know if they're true, but they're the most exciting stories on the planet. What? You know, it's what the happened? same one story. What happened? He put the plant in front of the door so no one could see. And, uh -huh. you know, what and plant? then uh, uh, the, the standing plant and no one could see through the wind. And then she tells me some weird story. I don't even think it's true, but it's the most exciting story you'll ever What's hear. So you, you like hearing about sex she's had in the past no not no like something like with a with a story with, with, with a story with a college professor and she's uh -huh. a student yeah but you not know her it's true. not her banging some comic at some b-room <laughs> sucking, sucking dick in toronto yeah, yeah. i don't want to so, hear about that <laughs> so we were doing a one-nighter in valdosta georgia <laughs> okay we were well, driving to the next yeah, gig yeah, we, we ran out of gas in moose jaw <laughs> on this one night okay <laughs> we, we want, we're gonna we're, go to the, <laughs> we were co-headlining <laughs> we're, we're gonna go to the man Mu bass museum oh. in alabama my Wife Hates Me is the podcast. You're going to be doing it live this Tuesday. Uh, you can get tickets at ComedyCellar.com, uh, The Village Underground. And I've said this before, Robert, I don't know whether you agree with me. I find Voss to be hysterical, Bonnie to be hysterical, but put them together and something gets amped up. Something it's, it's happens. Crazy. It's crazy. You, I, I love that you'll hate it, you'll love You go through more... You, it's just, just one emotion when you see them together. You go through more than one emotion. Because you'll be like, what the fuck? Right. And then you'll be laughing your ass off. It's crazy. Their relationship should be studied. It really should. Because I have a, I have a, I would quote unquote normal relation. I fight. Mm -hmm. I fought with her last night. We have a newborn. It's a fucking nightmare. But their fights are like guy on guy fight. Mm -hmm. But then she's a woman, and then she'll cry, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah, you just heard a girl's but, feelings. Yeah. But then you'll hear him cackling, <laughs> and it's like this fucking asshole is just a savage. Well, because he knows it's good for the show, so he's like, we're doing it. Look at you destroy it. But it's almost like he's, you know, how people have to stop and look at a, a car wreck sometimes. But what if when you saw the car wreck, then two people in the car started stabbing each other? Yeah. That's 
that's how sometimes this podcast can get. But Bonnie's <laughs> Bonnie's really fast, yeah. and she's really vicious. <laughs> she's really like I sometimes I feel bad for Voss because mm-hmm. she's real fucking funny <laughs> and vicious. <laughs> You yeah. know what I mean? She's very funny. That's why I like her. You, you oh. actually—that's one of your favorite things about her. She's, she's so quick. She's, she's brilliant. Yeah, she, she really, is. I mean, her writing, her directing, everything about her. She's right. You know, except her. Listen, her choices in men. Here's her, yeah, oh, we, we didn't see that coming. Like you around the corner. Uh, <laughs> she made a board I game. I fucking hit it pretty well. <laughs> she made a board game with my daughter. We played the other night, me and my three kids. They made the board game, and I'm sitting there going, you, you couldn't have made this without going on the internet. It was a real board game. Her and my six-year-old put together, I'm going, how did you figure this out and make a real board game with cards and how to do it? She goes, I write books and movies. A board game is nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it takes me a month to come up with a new joke, and this, she's throwing <laughs> goddamn movies together. You know what I mean? It's, it's insane, her brilliance, you know? But she has no comment. I mean, she's... You know, she's wow. not street or anything yeah. like that. I mean, she's, you know. My favorite part is when she won't let you talk and she keeps just stepping on you and you keep getting mad and you, you just relentless. You won't give up. You just keep going and keep going and then she'll leave the room and then you'll finish your dumb, whatever the fucking dumb thing you were saying. <laughs> just, yeah, you guys should be studied. <laughs> and really- also, I think when you guys do this in front of a crowd, it amps it up. You know what I mean? Because I remember we did the Unmasked show. Oh, that was great. Uh, and you guys were just, okay, there's some blood on the floor. Let's, you know what I mean? It's like wrestling, where it's like, okay, now I'm going to climb the ladder and come down. Because you guys were, I think, getting amped up by the reactions that you were getting. Well, it's always, I mean, as a comic, too, when you get reaction, it, mm-hmm. it adds fuel. To the, you know, right. and, and, and that the was fire. a great, it was great. I mean, because you know how to carry, and you're perfect at at running things and carrying it and mm-hmm. moving it along and adding funny lines and the whole thing just worked perfectly when we did that uh your the unmasked show yeah the unmasked show. it was one of my favorites that you've ever done but for people that haven't heard this let's play that clip where it do we have it in front of us Fez? Or no we don't have it in front of us this have... machine is down today all right because it was the one where voss was telling a, a painful story about his his past we can't get to it at all. You got it, Chubb? Yeah, I got it here. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right, Shelby? Yeah, I have it right here. What are you talking about, his lips? This was, yeah, I was he's trying, trying to make him lips. panic. Yeah. He's, he's the cutest, youngest twin. He huh? really <laughs> is, and yet he can't find anyone. He doesn't He doesn't have a girlfriend? He does, no, he doesn't have a girlfriend and hasn't since he's come to New York. I guarantee if he was gay, they'd swoop him up in a second. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what do you mean, if? <laughs> the... He is sweeter than sweet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He he is. His eyes are magical. But this Spanish girl in there, I would punch my oh, yeah. wife in the cheek for. Bring bring I Nor- send Nor- Nor- to. I know right. she's small. How old is she? She's seven now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shelby. See if you can play seven. this for us. Here's the deal. I was raised by just my mom, who I realized had it tough. You know, you don't know it now, but right. she's raising three kids on her own. But when you have a mom that's <laughs> over... <laughs> over <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you tell some of your farm stories? <laughs> farm farm here, stories. This is boss yeah. at his most vulnerable. <laughs> and I've never heard of a wife in history to go to... <laughs> It's 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 so she's so yeah. and that's what a guy yeah. your wife should have compassion right. in her brain she should right. think that she should never verbalize that in front of an audience for a laugh yeah I mean that's fuck that's the, uh, that's my worst nightmare yeah. that my wife gets a personality and 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 timing you know what I'm yes. we at our wedding okay at our wedding. Uh, <laughs> okay, so p- we, everybody went up. Yeah. Okay, my, uh, you know, and spoke. Mm-hmm. So my father went up and he died. You know, so he then, died at your wedding. He, he, bo- he didn't bomb. He didn't kill. Oh, he bombed. And then <laughs> Norton went on after him and killed. And t- you know, this is all farmers from Canada. Yeah. So Bonnie goes up, and she's she's killing. Talk, you know. <laughs> so I go up and I grab the mic and I start killing. Right? Because she went up without me. We were supposed to go up together, but she ran up and took the mic and started. So I went up and got the mic and I started killing. Then when the couple has the first dance, 
Our first dance is, yeah. she whispers, she goes, what? why'd you take the mic? I was doing well. What, what's wrong with you? I swear to God, that's what she said to me. It's so terrible. First dance. It's, so, it's so terrible. It's just all, it's a nightmare. It's supposed to be their happiest day. She goes, I was sharing yeah. their love. But he can never have them, like one of those, like he can, he can never be off guard. Right. And have that, hey honey, this is our first dance. I love you. Because she might say, all right, I get it. You love me. Well, I'm hungry. Where's the chicken salad? Yeah. It was like uh, Peter She's... Sellers in those Clouseau. He would come into the house and have to look around because of the, the, the Chinese fucking um, helper that he had. You have to keep your head on a swivel at all times. Well, both of us do. Yeah, <laughs> right. This girl is re re I know. ridiculous. How old are you? 21. Have no. you ever been in a BMW? No. See, here's the thing I don't understand. <laughs> she's she's our Spanish. Intern, of course she has. And well, this wasn't hot. new, but she's been in one. This is a safe <laughs> she zone. She lived in one. <laughs> this is a safe zone around her. She's okay. under our protection right. because her parents said, mm -hmm. oh, we're going to let you go into the city mm -hmm. and do radio while you go to college, but you have to come back because... Being Hispanic, you have to come back with your virtue, right? Yeah. Where, where are you from? saving it. Where you, Here? Yeah, where do you live? In Queens. You live in Queens. Yeah. So you're going back to get your virtue in Queens. Right. But she's, okay. from the, uh, she's from the DR. The DR. Okay. You sing? You'd be great on American Idol. Yeah. No, Even if you didn't dance? Jesus. I wish I could sing. I do dance. Do you have a, of course she does. <laughs> do, you have, um, do you have a boyfriend? No, I'm a boyfriend. Good what? for you. Why did that just make my heart hurt? Because <laughs> I realized she's looking at me. No, it's not happening. <laughs> uh, do you like older men? Maybe. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Are you, are you, you, like, you like him with no inside passenger door handles? <laughs> no, but like, 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 like 28. Not, huh? not past 28. Oh, 28 oh. old to you? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm 21, so 28 is like... Yeah. You've never seen yeah. a green... Okay, I mean... 28? What? Is, 28 is an inseam? What? 28 yeah. old hey, mm. so, so, so 40's off. Yeah. Who do you think's old, you, who's older, me or him? Yeah. You say I'm <laughs> First of all, Robert Kelly. Let me take my puffy coat and my hat off. And let me shave. Okay? And shed. And let me dye my facial hair. And let me lose 10 pounds. And let me put some cucumbers under my eyes. <laughs> you know what? Well, yeah, we'll see you back here in August. Then right. He's really going to just be working let, out for the next five months. Let me tell months. you something. First of all, if I was on a hit show, famous, I mean, holy shit famous, you knew I had tons of cash. You wouldn't. Uh, you'd you'd go with me. You I'll would. go on a date with you. You'd go on a date I'll with me. Date. You see, you're honest. <laughs> good for her. If, good for you. You're looking for a wealthy fellow. Yeah. She'd go on a date. No, I'm not looking for a wealthy. No, you'd fellow, go on a date. You I'll, we'd I'll fool around. I'll go on a date. You'd take some mm. free dinners, some nice things. I get you a brace. What do you like? Anklets? What do you? What are the Puerto Ricans like? <laughs> you you like an like, anklet with your you initial on it? What are you Dominican? Dominican. Sorry. Yeah, Dominican. you do it like the anklets. That's a that's a yes. Where's you know who asks her out all the time? Any everybody pro basketball player. Oh yeah, come in here and hand her. Of course, you know. So we got to keep a constant eye on her. Yeah, well, because her she's young, good looking, and yeah. I don't blame her parents. I have kids her age. Yeah, right. My daughter's twenty one. The other one's twenty three. Wow, right? You know, and you got to be. Are you kidding me? She's beautiful, yeah. and she comes in here amongst uh, but you know a nice. room of creeps. Mm -hmm. You know, and a whole building of creeps. You know. At least, at least she's on this show, not the other one. Right. Well, they, yeah. legally, they can't have someone like her. We couldn't even go to dinner together because I'd just overeat and she'd be, like, disgusted. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you have control more now. Him. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Maurice, more ham. More <laughs> ham. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, he's taking bites out of her arm. Uh, now, listen, because I'm... Only 32. That's only four years older yeah. than 28. Uh, let me tell you how off the you are. 21 year old daughter. Me? He could be your grandfather. If I was your dad, he would be your grandfather. Do you understand that? So he's older than you. Yeah, absolutely. Look at his face. Look at my. Look she at still the, can't believe look it. Look at the wrinkles and then look at the wrinkles. Where's wrinkles? I got wrinkles. All, all of you. What? Are you kidding me? A wrinkles? <laughs> look at your forehead. That's not wrinkles. That's me going like this. It looks like somebody's homework paper. Nothing. I knew that was going to work. <laughs> no, no, I, Did it work? I, no, it you took got me the a lines. second. I was okay. like, okay. Piece of paper. Now I got it. <laughs> but you know what? We're trying to save your marriage, and look what you're doing right here. Right? Yeah. I'm, I'm setting it up for her. her. I'm trying to make me her up for, for her. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm setting her up for him. She's I, never going to go with me. She already just said that blatantly, unless I, unless I make it. 
If I, I hope I, I hope something happens. I hope <laughs> something. So does your wife. I, so does your wife. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope I get some big thing in a year. I'm holding up an Emmy. I'm like, do you yeah. remember yeah. me? Yeah. Oh, I'll remember I'll you. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have a nice four star hotel for you oh, sure. around the, the corner. The big thing you hope you get, she can't give you. What's that? You no. didn't. You didn't have it. Oh God! You did a joke and you didn't have it. I did have it. You you wrote a book without an ending. <laughs> I have a uh, I have a four star hotel today. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What would you do with her? Nothing. Because no. Married. If if you came back to the room with me, say Nothing. we had a hotel room and we went back, we'd have to get some food, right? As a single guy, you mean? I'm talking to her. Will you uh, butt your head out of the way? <laughs> I'm not asking you on a date. You freaking creep. <laughs> if me and you went on a date. Okay. We'd have to get some food, right? Because you're Spanish. You're going to eat some pork, maybe, right? Some pulled pork or something. Okay, yeah. Maybe some soft Spanish. She's Dominican from Dominica. I, I want to go. Oh, you're Spanish. 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 All right, Hispanic. Okay, so I'm now sorry. you're younger because <laughs> you messed up my whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I really don't. <laughs> so we go back to the room. We have a little food, right? We eat a little food, maybe watch a little TV, dim the lights a little bit so you can, I can look a little younger, right? And then, uh, and then we kiss a little, right? We start to kiss. <laughs> Stop, look at me. We kiss <laughs> and you roll over and kill her. <laughs> like ch- <laughs> She's not a puppy, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and then we kiss a little bit, right? Good. And then we fall asleep. We take a nap because I'm tired. I've been up doing radio all day and I haven't eaten. I know the food will make me sleepy. We take a little nap and then we wake up a little bit. I'm- <laughs> and your wallet's missing. <laughs> <laughs> It was like letters to penthouses, but but more like letters to the Food Network. I don't know how, how, why you're trying to seduce a woman, you would bring up snacks. I had a had two meals, I think. I haven't even got her pants off. I already ate twice. <laughs> Rich Voss, uh, Bob Kelly in studio with us. Everyone's going to be at the My Wife Hates Me live podcast. Yes. Coming up next Tuesday, special guest, marriage counselor Ron Bennington doing his best to help. That's next Tuesday, the 11th, 7.30 at the Village Underground. You get tickets by going to thecomedyseller.com. And we have, a, we have the gig poster. Uh, I'm trying to bring back gig posters. Yeah, like uh, so who, very who you uh, done by Coke Logic uh, of the actual show. They'll be signing them after the show, selling them before and during and after the show, and signing them after upstairs in the lounge. And so, so. there's no resentment and anger. What? Oh, forget it. What? It's negative. I don't want to. Bring. Okay. That was weird. Were you being negative there for a second and caught no, yourself? No, I just not negative. I just wanted to point something out that might not look. Uh, on the poster, cer- a certain name's not on it because right. the posters weren't made before that name signed on. Bonnie's not on it. No. <laughs> 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 that's 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 why he uh, yeah he's the quickest. Well, I want to hear the end of the story with you oh. and her. So we 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 she wakes up. I'm staring at her. <laughs> wow. Well, no, but not in a creepy way. Not in a creepy way. Yeah, I'm tired. Right, and then uh, so then we we kiss a little more again, right? And I, I do something with your hair. I put my hands through your hair. It doesn't get caught or anything. <laughs> Looking and for then, a cupcake. I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go, before we do that, before you wake up, I'm going to go wash my fingernails. I don't want to, okay. usually I have a little dirt under there because I don't really cut them that often. After the pulled pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah play, especially with pulled, I don't want any little dirt. So I wash my fingernails. I have one of those brushes, those old school fingernail brushes. And I romantic. Ca- and then we go back. <laughs> I come back in. I wake you up. Shh. <laughs> Time to get up, and you wake up. Oh, what time is it? And it's, <laughs> he goes, oh, I got to clean two more rooms. <laughs> then, then all of a sudden, the door opens. It's your mom. <laughs> what? What? I don't you go right home after all of this. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> why? And then and then we, we. I have you dance a little bit. I have a little dance. Why do you little, do this? Yeah. Hand her a gun. Give her the option to kill herself. <laughs> 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 it's just a murder. Oh my I'm going to do it. I'm, you, you, you gave me motivation for my career. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to actually make it. I'm going to get on a TV show. Listen to me. I'm going to get on a TV show. Come back. You understand me? I'm coming back here. 
I'm going to learn an instrument. I'm going to get on a TV show. I'm coming, and I'm coming, I'm coming back here. I'm taking acting class. I'm coming back. Hey, who's that good-looking guy with a tuba? <laughs> I'm coming back, and you know what? We're going on a nice secret date, me and you. <laughs> it's going to be real secret. It's going to be secret. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to ruin my life for her. But <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm calling no. your brothers right now and having you a have brother. Oh, you have brothers? I have one brother. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, but you're not. That's just that's just to be able to see him. He's not going to be around for. He's not going to be around. Great joke. You stepped over because you don't wear your headphones. You fucking old twat. Put your headphones on. Not just one. Put them both on. You know what? You got you put on one headphone, and then with your glasses, you only have one side of it. That's his thing. He's an investigator. He has to have his senses open. <laughs> Fucking asshole. No, these are two gentlemen. That's why I, I would come in here. I would never, ever, yeah. in a million years, do anything. I love my wife more than life itself. I would never right. cheat on my wife with you unless you would definitely, you know, you know Say go yes. all the way on the first day. <laughs> no, me and you would. I would definitely hang out with you as a friend. Like if you want, if you wanted to hang out as a friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you wanted to talk. <laughs> Uh, Two buddies. I yeah. want to just. You want a friend go to a twelve-step meeting? I don't want to hang out with her. You Why? Me? You would she seems like a really nice person. She has oh, a great sense of humor. Up. Listen to me. He has no sense of humor. She, she giggles does. at your stupidity. She's scared, and you frighten her. She's not scared. Yeah, well, not scared because she's in a safe environment, but she's creeped out. Let's say creeped she's out. She's not, not creeped out at all. She no, look at you. Uh, you're saying, hey, go back to my room, and let's and have some let's food. Have a, have uh, a couple of meals. Let's eat. And some let's soft eat. Kisses. And, <laughs> and then your mother comes in. We have, she can come in and <laughs> fill the mini bar back up. That's like That would kind of creep me out. If a grown man, a grown lady said, hey, you want to come to my room and eat? <laughs> <laughs> like, and when I was there, some grown lady, hey, some old lady was like, hey, don't take a nap. Listen, I'll I have some pulled pork back in my room. <laughs> it was like, that story, like I would always thought like the movie Seven was fictional. But during that story, I could see how this kind of shit could happen. She's like, what's in the box? What? What's it's, in the box? It's, it's just pig. It's a, it's a suckling pig. That's all. <laughs> Don't get crazy. It's, a snack. it's just a snack. <laughs> oh, I know a great place we can eat. Where? I'll tell you. No. Oh, what? You don't want everybody to show up? <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's in the, it's in the Diamond District. It's uh, one of these uh, Orthodox places, but they have a. Uh, uh, shawarma and stuff. It's so good. All right, let's go. Yeah, man. That's Do you great. know the name of? Because I'm going to go there. Sometime. No, it's upstairs. <laughs> it's on like uh, 47. 47 between. And it's upstairs. They got uh, chicken shawarma because uh -huh. I don't eat red meat, and it's so good. And they have you know hummus and all that stuff. And it's some Orthodox place in the Diamond District upstairs. Jeez, I'm going to go now. I'm what, 47. What's your favorite food, hun? Spanish food. Like what? Rice beans. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep going. What are, you like pork? Yeah. But rice and beans. And Does your mother, you know how to cook? No. Oh, uh, you don't? <laughs> no. Damn. Because my mom does all the cooking. See, now here's here's my rap to her. With what? me, you'll never have to cook because we'll hire somebody. Probably yeah. her mom. That she knows. No. <laughs> <laughs> her uncle's not going to be able to make it to, to Christmas dinner because he's over. I oh, forget it. Too wordy. Rich Voss and Buddy McFarlane are going to be at the Village Underground. My wife hates me I live. Know, this, uh, during this conversation, he starts <laughs> to rub his arms down with cream. But <laughs> Ron, it's lotion. It's not the worst part of it. The cream is in, an, is in an, a medicine bottle. So he took cream. He didn't. You know, he doesn't understand that you can go buy cream in a smaller <laughs> container. <laughs> he not, not put cream in a, 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 a something. He had to wash something out. He couldn't wash it out. This to this medicine dust in there. There was there was, there was seven uh, high blood pressure pills. Okay, uh, and I pour them out. And because this lotion is uh, fragrance free. You can't get it in small bottles. Yes, you can. Not fragrance free. So fucking listen. We went to the moon. Okay, <laughs> I'm holding a fucking magic machine in my hand. Okay, I I, I can call people. Yeah, take well, a can video. Can make yourself disappear? <laughs> Nothing, sorry. I had some good ones earlier. No, you don't want you two are coming off as the married couple now. That would be nice. You could do another podcast, My Friend Hates Me. <laughs> Actually, put an S at the end of that. <laughs> the My Wife Hates Me live podcast is happening at the Village Underground. Go to ComedyCellar.com for tickets. That's Tuesday.
Tuesday, March 11th, this coming Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Yeah, Special right. guest Ron Bennington. Robert Kelly's here with us. He's producing the show. Yeah, and one other thing, and don't leave, Rob. This Friday, Robert Kelly will be at the Bushnell Theater in Connecticut. So if you're in that area... Uh, He's a powerhouse. And tonight, watch USA. I'm I on the pilot of the uh, new sh- series oh, yeah. called Sirens. And if, if oh, you're, is that right? Yeah. Uh, this is who produced this? Uh, Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary. And um, fuck, um, shit, I forget Rob. his name. Yeah, Rob. Um, fuck, I forget. He wrote uh, Wedding Crashers. Saturday, I'll be at Mohegan Sun. <laughs> yeah, but. you guys are busy. Busy, busy. Uh, I'm, I'm looking so forward to Tuesday, though. Did you? We're going to have three cameras shoot. What? It's going to be great. Tuesday's going to be great. The Village Underground, the reason why I love it is the comedy cellar, except comfortable. Right. You know, the comedy cellar I love, but it's, you know, it's fucking cramped. You, you're jammed in there. It's been there for 30 years. Mm-hmm. And this is the... Well, it, do- it shrunk in the 30 years. It, was, it doesn't matter how long it's been there. It's small. And then the new one is actually just a better room, and they, they replicated the stage. So it's uh, it seats two hundred people. The other one seats one ten maybe. So it's going to be, and we're almost. You got to get tickets now because it's selling out. But it's going to be, it's fucking awesome. We're setting the whole stage up like um, we're going to have couches uh, for you two, and you're going to have a chair. It's just going to be just like therapy. He's going to do stand up. She's doing stand up. Dan Soder is hosting. He's going to open up with san- uh, some stand up. What ten minutes, right? Yeah. And then we're doing Q and A at the end, which is fucking the. Q and A is I I don't know, I, I love Q and A at a live yeah. comedy show Q and A is always fucking hilarious. Fucking Nick Nolte was great in it. I do remember that movie. You, you <laughs> don't feel like you're alone. I remember that the little scene Nick Nolte movie. I remember it too, but there's yeah. not funny. There's nothing. Well, this funny. was by the way, Nori. This is all before you were born. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, mm. And yeah. in English, so you know. That's why I don't know. Yeah. Have you ever used a payphone, honey? Hello. Yes, I have. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm doing my last. All right. Well, you, he answers the phone on a show. Right. Well, that's the wife. That's not. Is that the wife? No, it's his fucking manager. I, I don't know. I don't he is an. You ass. gotta get going, Rich. No. no, he doesn't. Get, he's just doesn't. He's just an asshole. No. I, why would you answer the phone? Because it's real important. What was it? Huh? What was it? It was my wife. It was not your wife. That was a guy's voice. She she just got up. <laughs> Rich, we moving those tickets. Listen, tell Bobby to shut the fuck up, okay? He's talking over Ron. <laughs> That's going to so this is going to be an exciting night. You guys yeah, are I'm all looking, pumped up for it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. We're videotaping oh. the whole night too. Yeah. I'm just so excited. My name's on the poster. It's oh, we're going to make new ones. <laughs> we're going to make no, new no, ones. No, no, no. I don't care about a poster. We're not making new I ones. Don't give a shit about I'll make posters. new ones. No, we're not making new about ones. A poster. This is it's what he, nothing we figured. It out. You ready? This is. This uh, is what you just put gloves on, and I got this little girl here. It looks <laughs> like you're the fucking Boston Strangler. The, oh, sorry. <laughs> we have your name where it says guest, uh, uh, guest uh, marriage counselor, and that's yeah. where you're going to sign. Oh, that's going to be so exciting. Say that? <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Do you it's, like signing autographs? No, no, Why? not at all. It's very, it's a silly thing, isn't it? It's kind of an odd thing to do. Well. I don't know. I, I kind of... I sign your CD. Everybody buys my CD, wants yeah. me to sign it. Yeah, the autograph is a, is, a, is a crazy... I don't know where it came from. Like where, who? It came pre-pictures. Like, I have to prove that I was with you, and, you know, you're Abe Lincoln, so there's no way to do it. <laughs> Write your name down here. <laughs> that's, that's how far back it goes. Really? Yeah. I think they had pictures back around Abe Lincoln. What were you going to do? Sit there for 15 minutes <laughs> while that fucking yeah. thing went? And you know wait, what that was like? They had to they they wait like six a, months to get yeah, it there. And only a couple of people had cameras back No, they back had there. cameras back during the Flintstones, even. So, I mean, they had cameras. Six months later, a horse shows up in Kansas City. <laughs> Here's your photo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, well, we're hey starting Charlie. To- Charlie, go ahead, buddy. <laughs> If I were drowning, I'd throw you a barbell. Why would I want to help you? Because you have a debt. The only thing a decent person is the ex- expectation of a divine reward, then that person is a piece of shit. The hubris that takes a yank a soul out of non existence into this meat to get push a wife and mixed pressure? Yeah, for so my daughter, she spared me the sin of being a father. The world needs bad men. We keep other bad men from the door. That is the yellow king. That is the yellow king. Thank you very much, my friend. What the fuck was he saying? I, I don't. I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> you. Uh, you have to remember, everyone is excited because True Detective ends this 
Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Is this the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. We will know who the Yellow King is. We will know who kills kids. So he was doing some dialogue out off of that series. Did you it's watch the daughter? Did you? That's what I said no, on the Twitter. Daughter, I no, said it's not the goth one. It's the other wide-eyed one. Well, how would she have been able to do this before she was old enough, though? She because she had she was a savant. Mm. She okay, had her. She was a baby. Her, her thing, yeah, was killing people. Like she was good at it at a very young age. I think uh, I think it could be the wife. No, and I also think we could never find out. They're not going to let you know. It's going to yeah. be. A, they're going to end it with with like four or five different scenarios, and you're going to go fuck. So it's going to happen. You're mm. going to go fuck at the ending. You're going to no. love the show. I guarantee it. No, well, gonna... They can't solve it in one episode. After... No, they can't. They can't. I, in one they're episode. not going to solve it, but they're going to give you something big. They're they, not going to let... Because you won't come back... If they piss people off... They're not coming back next year. Do you think they sign on for not... more than one year? Those two? Yes. They're big star- no. No, no. No. There's other people. They this sign next year. Yeah, next year, there's going to be two new actors in a new crime. and um, yeah. I forget. They brought up a big name... It was Denzel. Denzel Washington. Are you yeah. shitting possibly me? Possibly be, yeah. Because now everybody wants to do that. Great idea. And yeah. it's the same director every week and the same writer, which is almost impossible for television. That never happens. Mm. And, wow. And so so I, I don't know after watching wow. the season that they can wrap this up in one episode. There's too much, you know. Why not? Yeah. Well, because huh? we haven't gotten anywhere yet. I mean, seven yeah. episodes. I think the series just is about those guys sitting there and being weird. I mean, it's almost like you guys. Just let. Just if I aim the camera at you, right. something entertaining am, would happen. Am I, am I Matthew? They, yeah, I'm Matthew. I yeah, guess. you're definitely. Yeah, oh, you're good. Matthew. I want to be the one banging those hot ones. So yeah, you're the one banging the hot I ones. I want to be the one banging your wife. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen. She used. She used you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's okay. Did you see? Did you see the? Uh, End of uh, House of Cards. Have you no, watched it? I've watched the season yet. No, I haven't seen it. Have you? Oh no! Are you guys out of your mind? No. Yeah, we're out of our minds. Yeah, it's it's we're fucking so insane. fucking good. I'm going to see it, you know. But it's you Did know. You watch the Oscars. Yeah. Kevin Spacey came out like I'm better than y- you, movie stars. And I'm just doing a television show. But by the way, Kevin Spacey's already won two Oscars. I know. He's big. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But he's big. But his arrogance so it wasn't the T V show? <laughs> no. It was the uh, <laughs> yeah. him being in the business for a long time and yeah. winning Oscars. It, he's won two? Uh, yeah, he's won two. For, he won for American um Beauty. And then the American one? Uh, American Beauty. Yeah. And then the uh the um Kaiser Sosa. Kaiser Sosa, Sosa yeah. yeah. Usual, oh, usual suspect, yeah. yeah. How good was that? That was fucking good. How fucking good was that? Yeah. I feel like I've had this conversation before. <sighs> you really Well, you know, time is linear. You know what I mean? Like it just <laughs> it never stops. You know what's fun about this? You guys don't try to have like guests in like the last show that are real smart that make you look dumb. Yeah. It, it, well, uh, I mean, it's it's Doctor Neil Tyson. What are you gonna, you know, what are you gonna do about that? He's. Do you know him? Yeah. You, I've had him on like five times. He's, he's fucking a genius. Well, yes, it's a well-known fact that he's an astrophysicist. He <laughs> fucking runs the planetarium. He, he is said, he famous? Like Rich yes. said that like we're gonna go. We, what? Really? Is he famous? You mean famous? A, yes, astrophysicist is famous, a genius. Famous. He's got one point seven million uh, Twitter followers. He was promoting a fucking television show. <laughs> Cosmos, that is a science show that is based on the most famous science show of all time, the one with uh, Carl Sagan. So when you went in there and you asked him about the fucking Bermuda Triangle, <laughs> no, it, was, uh, it was Twiangle. It was his conclusion on the the conclusion. I, I was in the car at the time and I rolled down the window to see if I could hear America cringe. It was, everyone together actually, just wins. Actually, a fucking flock of birds died <laughs> at that moment. So you're gonna have from you're gonna be able to eat birds in the hotel room yeah. now. <laughs> no, hey, we're starting to kind of peter out. Yeah, no. Well, we're we're, we're wrapping up. Yeah, I know you're tired. You've had a long morning. I'm starving. Going, hey, 
You're hungry. Tim's hungry. Are you, are can you not stretch in front of me ever again? <laughs> let's plug the podcast one last time because Robert is producing this. Yeah. And, of course, Voss and Barney are going to be starring in it. It's My Wife Hates Me, the live podcast. That's happening next Tuesday, March 11th, at the Village Underground. For tickets, go to ComedyCellar.com. That's on 3rd Street in New York City. Dan Soder's also on the bill. Ron Bennington yes. It's the special guest trying to save this marriage. And we have the special gig posters at the front door. As you're walking in, get them, because uh, uh, you're going to be signing them after. It's going to be a great show. And Kelly Festuca, I want to thank her. She's been working yeah. her ass off, too. Coke Get Logic. Our, yeah, Coke Logic the for the art. Crew. Unbelievable, yeah. So You're all ex- This is exciting. This is big. It'll be fun. It's going to be big. fun. You know what it is? It's different than stand-up. It's, mm-hmm. it's where we get to... I, I miss the days when we all used to fuck around and have fun and do other stuff. Than, it's, it's kind of a little different. It's a show. It's going to be a great night. So well, I'm looking forward to it. And I'll see you guys there yes. next Tuesday night. Yeah, I'm not going. You're not going to be there. <laughs> no, I'm not going to this fire. i got a way better... I think I'm going to stay home and watch American at? Idol. But That's you guys have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I taped it last week. I'm a week behind. All right, I'll see you guys next Thank time. Thanks for having us. Sorry we got tired. Ron and Ben. <laughs>